The PGA Tour is home to the best of the best in the game of golf. But to make it to the top, you need great coaching. You need a great mentor. And for a handful of PGA pros, they got both from one man at UNLV. Adam Scott is one of the most popular golfers on the PGA Tour, a superstar whose introduction to America came with roots at UNLV. It was a really important time uh, in my golfing development, I guess, uh, leaving Australia as a junior golfer and going to college, something I thought I'd never do, but it was a way for me to get out of Australia and kind of pursue my dream to play on the PGA Tour and hopefully become a Masters champion one day. Scott's dreams came true in 2013. What an incredible day. Fitted with his first green jacket on a rainy Augusta evening. A defining moment that may never have happened if not for lessons learned from legendary Rebel coach Dwayne Knight. Dealt with adversity uh, the first six months on the golf course, not playing well, not adapting well to a very different lifestyle than I was used to uh, back at home. And, you know, Dwayne, I think through somewhat tough love, certainly helped me uh, get through that. And then my second semester, I played a lot better and I, I adjusted and I adapted how I had to to uh, you know, play a little better golf for the team and uh, also kind of embrace everything that was being offered to me at UNLV. Having played the tour myself, uh, I think my goal once I got into coaching was to try to help guys get to that level and to have Adam Scott number one in the world. I mean, those are things you dream about, but <laughs> you don't necessarily think they're going to come true. It's a story that's told over and over on the PGA Tour. How a mild-mannered, soft-spoken golf coach at UNLV helped to mold PGA pros, including 2004 NCAA champion Ryan Moore, who's won three times in the last six years on tour. You know, taught me a lot of things while I was there and, uh, you know, gave me some, some great advice for, you know, what, what it takes and what you need to do to get on the PGA Tour and be successful. And, uh, you know, I think any kid going to college, I mean, that's that's uh, that's our, our goal. You know, you go to a great program like that. I mean, my. My goal is to be on the PGA Tour, and, and that's why I went there. Dwayne Knight's greatest influence on the game of golf has very little to do with sinking a putt or a massive drive off the tee box. How did that one? His teachings have helped players build vital life skills, according to PGA pro Charlie Hoffman, who helped the Rebels win a national team title in 1998 under Coach Knight. Grew me as a person, a kid, young kid from San Diego that didn't really know much about showing up on time and the tour demands uh, you follow the rules or you don't play out there you know that's just the way it is and if you're late you get penalized and if you don't show up you're disqualified uh, the game kind of presents itself that way so I expect him to be on time and he was a stickler on, on the academic side we had to go to class we had to get good grades and if we didn't get good grades we didn't uh, travel I expect him to do well in classroom uh, 3.0 or they sit at home you know and, and they have to figure it out you're one injury away from not playing the game so that's that's why I really stress trying to get that degree. Really matured. I mean, that was a time of my life where 18 to 20 something there, you, you're easily influenced and you can go a lot of wrong directions. But uh, Dwayne definitely, uh, I think, can be said, taught all his kids a lot of uh, ethics and morals. And I mean, we, when we traveled with the team, we traveled in coat and suit and tie. And uh, it's, I mean, it was, it was a privilege to be on this traveling team, so he wanted you to dress like a, a champion, dress like uh, you knew what you were doing. It's championship standards and the tradition-rich success that has followed that drew current Rebel Kurt Kitayama to UNLV. Because the great history they've had with um, Ryan Moore, Adam Scott, Chris Wright, all the pros that are on tour now. And proof that the current course can and has led to dreams coming true. Dwayne obviously uh, has done an unbelievable job getting guys to go to uh, Las Vegas, especially in the early years when Las Vegas wasn't a powerhouse. Chris Riley sort of started that, and I followed from San Diego, and then he was able to get Adam Scott. And then obviously Ryan Moore is a little bit younger than both of us, and uh, the program's turned out some great players throughout the years. And there's a lot of us out here, and uh, you know, it definitely you know speaks volumes about the program and and uh, you know what it helps you achieve. And, and I think, like I said, you know that's. That was probably all of our goals going there, and uh, to have it actually help us, you know, get out here and be successful. I mean, uh, 
obviously there's a you know, we give a lot of credit to it. I'm proud of the other guys uh, that I see on a weekly basis out here yeah. on tour. There's always a strong representation of UNLV Rebels out here on the PGA Tour and I expect that trend to continue into the future. Since taking over at UNLV, 11 of Dwayne Knight's players have gone on to play on the PGA Tour. Eight of those players are still active and have combined for 21 wins on the PGA Tour. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.